A company installs 5,000 light bulbs, each with an average life of 500 hours, a standard deviation of 100 hours, and a distribution approximated by a normal curve. Find the approximate number of bulbs that can be expected to last a specified period of time. Now again, I like to draw pictures, and pictures aren't strictly necessary, but it seems to me that it helps you understand what's going on. What they've told us is we have a normal, or approximately normal, distribution. Something maybe it looks kind of like that. And it has a mean mu of 500 hours and a standard deviation sigma of 100 hours. Now, that normal curve gives the probability of, of uh, the normal of the x value taken on any particular value. And they, we want to know the probability that the bulb can be expected to last at least 500 hours. Well, 500 hours happens to be the mean. So, that's the area we're looking for. Now, easy way hard way. The easy way is to notice that that area that we're looking for is half of the total area. So it's going to be 0.5. Which means that 50% of the area is to the right of the mean and 50% is to the left of the mean. So really the easiest way is to say half of the areas to the right, that means half of the bulbs are going to last that long. So it says that we have 5,000 light bulbs. So if we have 5,000 light bulbs and 50% of them, remember 0.5 is 50%, half of them last that long, well 5,000 bulbs, half of them is 2,500. So 2,500 bulbs should last uh, at least 500 hours. That's the easy way to do that problem. Whenever the answer is to the right or the left of the mean, it's going to be 50%. You don't really have to do any work. Now, suppose you just didn't realize that you could actually set it up and do it differently and you could do it without knowing that. You could say, okay, well, the distribution, uh, the original x variable is mu 500 and sigma 100, and in order to do anything with it, look at in the table, I have to convert it to standard normal. In other words, I've got to change it to a z. And you do that, by subtracting the mean, dividing by the standard deviation, a standard normal has a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. By definition, that's what a standard normal is. And if you just go through the process, you say, well, I know my conversion formula is, to excuse me, to change something to a z value, I take the x value, subtract the mean, and divide by the standard deviation, which in this particular problem means I subtract the mean, which is 500, and divide by the standard deviation, which is 100. So what that tells me is, after doing all this work, is that the probability that the original x that variable lasts more than 500 hours is the same as the probability that the standard normal lasts uh, 500 minus the mean, which is 500, over the standard deviation of 100. In other words, to convert that to a number you look up the table, you subtract the mean, which happens to be 500, and divide by the standard deviation, which is 100. 
Now, 500 minus 500 is 0, and 0 divided by 100 is 0, so that just turns out to be the probability that z is greater than 0. But remember, you can't look up a number to the right in the table. You can only look up a number to the left. But what you know is that the probability that z is greater than something is 1 minus the probability that z is less than that same value. And that number you can look up in the table. And if you look up z equals 0 in the table, you end up with 0.5. So that's 1 minus 0.5. And 1 minus 0.5 is 0.5. And that gets us to the same spot we had earlier, which is that the probability that a value is greater than 500 is 0.5. That means that you expect half the bulbs to last that long. So if you've got 5,000 bulbs, and half of them are going to last that long, half of 5,000 is 2,500, and you have 2,500 bulbs that should last at least 500 hours. Now, notice that's the same answer we got before. See? And we just really thought it out. And the reason that was so easy and that you really didn't have to do all this work is because they were asking about a number that was exactly equal to the mean. This number right here was exactly the mean, and that gave it away immediately that that area was going to be 0.5, and I really could just figure it out without converting. But if you didn't realize that, or if you're just not very confident, you can do the standard normal conversion, and you'll get exactly the same answer.